Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make pumpkin brownies. Mmm, yummy. This homemade pumpkin brownie recipe is really easy to do. Simple ingredients, tis the season for pumpkin related desserts. If I can make them, you can make them. Let's get baking. First, let's go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 Celsius. Next, what we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and add in our sugar. Down below in the description, I'll list all the ingredients. That's one and a half cups of sugar. Let's add in four eggs, four large eggs. And then with our hand mixer, or you could do this with a stand mixer, or you can just use a wooden spoon or fork. Let's go ahead and mix this up really well. Okay, that's good. And that's pretty much all we need this hand mixer for. And now we're gonna take our two cups of flour. Go ahead and put that in there. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and then with the spatula, let's go ahead and just fold everything together. And you could have sifted those dry ingredients together if you want, or whisk them beforehand. Okay, until we pretty much have it about like that. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another bowl here, and we're gonna just divide it. We want about half of this mixture in this other bowl. Doesn't have to be exactly half, but roughly half. And now what we wanna do is in this one, I'm gonna go ahead and take my pumpkin puree. This is one and about a fourth a cup. And then let's go ahead and add our oil. This is one cup of oil. I'm using vegetable oil. You could use whatever kind of oil that you want. One teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of cloves or pumpkin spice. Let's go ahead and just mix this together. Okay, now let's set this aside. And now what we want to do is we want to take our chocolate and our butter. And you could do this on the stovetop on low heat. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually do this in the microwave. I'm going to start with the chocolate and heat it um, on high burst of 30 seconds until it starts to melt. And then what you wanna do is just add in your butter and then do it for another 20 seconds 30 seconds until the butter melts in with the chocolate, okay? All right, so when the chocolate is right about, about that step, this was after about a minute, so two bursts of 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my half a cup of butter and back in the microwave for about 30 seconds should do the trick. Uh, there we go, so it's gonna be nice and melted together. It's okay if there's some chocolate chunks in there. Another thing you can do is just melt them separately and then combine them. All right, and then after it has cooled a little bit, let's go ahead and just take this other mixture. And let's combine these two. Okay. And then it'll all come together like this and kind of look like a classic brownie. See that? Oh yeah. All right, so now what we want to do is we wanna take our pan. This is a seven by 11, but you can use like a nine by nine. And then I sprayed it, put down some parchment paper and then sprayed the, the paper. Let's go ahead and lay down our brownie, brownie right here, the chocolate part first and spread it out. Okay, and then let's go ahead and add our pumpkin on top. And then let's spread it out. And now what we wanna do, this is optional, is we're gonna just take some pecans on top. Again, if you don't like pecans, don't use pecans. If you wanna use walnuts, use walnuts. If you don't wanna use nuts, don't use the nuts. And then let's take some chocolate chips, go on top. This is about a third of a cup. Use as much or as little as you want. 
Now we're gonna bake this for 40 to 45 minutes until when you poke it with a toothpick, the toothpick comes out clean. Fall into that step. And when it comes out of the oven, it'll look something like this. You may or may not have some of the brownie from the bottom um, bursting out of the top. Um, that's really cool. We're gonna go ahead and set this aside. And then on a wire rack here, let's just go ahead and transfer our brownie over to the wire rack. Just grab the sides. So now let's go ahead and just let these cool completely before serving. All right, time to cut into this. Oh yeah, nice thick brownie. I just moved this over onto my cutting board. Oh yeah. Now let's open that up. Oh, look at that. Look at that brownie on the edge and the pumpkin right there in the middle. Oh yeah. Awesome. All right, the pumpkin brownie is done. Turned out fantastic. Really easy to do, simple ingredients. Also, if you want your brownie to, brownie to be thinner, um, so not as thick, just use a little bit bigger of a pan and it will be thinner. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this. Oh yeah, yum, yum, yum. Mmm.